All right, so the one, the only, Headhunters has released a new track, and that does not happen often these days, because, let's be honest, he's definitely on the wind down. I think he stopped DJing and, like, touring around other countries completely, so it really does feel like he's on, you know, just, just on the way, oh, I don't even want to say it, but he, he seems like he's on the way out, still making music, but obviously not... He's not as active as he once was. But what he did when he was active will make him go down in history as one of the greatest to ever do it. He was making music back in the day and then went away from hardstyle, came back and had a pretty massive run from like 2017 up until, well, now still. Because he's not, he's not gone, right? But he has slowed down. Although, speaking of like 2017, 2018, 2019, he was releasing bangers like Destiny, Leap of Faith, Oxygen... So, yeah, there's a lot that I am very thankful for with Headhunters because he has released a lot of emotional music that has really captivated me in the recent years. So hopefully Live Forever can be one of them tracks that also captivates me and gets me in the feels. Ooh, that sounds so crunchy. So devious. Oh, he's using that for the build-up, right? Yeah, okay. Oh! Is that a bit of hard tech? Not really the kind of tech I would expect from Headhunters, but I like it. And the switch. Oh my god. Ooh, do we like fakes he's doing? The pauses? I like that. Where's that melody at? Come on. It's happening. Hello. It has to happen. Wait, is that the melody entirely? Hold on once again. Uses that to get into the build up for the second drop. Whoa! Okay, that happened a bit sooner than expected. So that's, I guess, the melodic drop, but the melody itself is a different entity to what we're used to. It's a whole different thing entirely. And that is where it does end. Well, that was... Alright. I mean, there wasn't anything... Like, I guess I was expecting the really, like, euphoric Headhunter sound. But we didn't really get that. It was more of a darker, mysterious track. It was very do 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 Pause. And then right back. do 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 so yeah, um, I guess he went for a different approach with this one. I will be interested to see what you guys think of that. But that is it for this rare occurrence where we do get a new Headhunters track. I'll tell you what, since Headhunters is on the wind down, I think it's about time we drop that Project One album. So many tracks there that, yeah, I'm sure we've all kind of heard by now, but they'll still be new at the time of release. And we'll get them in that full quality. Don't have to listen to them from some, like, I don't know, some YouTube channel. Just rip them from a live set or whatever. <laughs> but nah, um, I'll patiently wait for that. It's only been, I think, four years for me waiting. Maybe longer for you guys. But when that does finally drop, that will be monumental. If it ever drops, I don't really know if it is going to happen, to be honest. But we'll see. As for Headhunters himself, I think he did a good job with that track. And even though I want to hear more... That's all right, you know, we're getting doses of Headhunters music these days because he is taking a lot of time to master these tracks, not pumping out the tunes like... Who pumps out the tunes? I feel like Hard Driver, maybe. He's one of the more consistent ones. I'm not saying, like, that's bad. He's, he still pumps out good music consistently, dropping, like, an album every year. Damn. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And again, let me know in the comments what you think of this track. 